Hey guys, thanks for watching Ask My Auto Mechanic. This channel is committed to people that are having car troubles. If you need advice uh, related to your car, if you're having some sort of problem with it, um, this is a great channel for you. It's a great channel for the do-it-yourselfer. If you've got a project you're working on, you need a little bit of help, you might find some value in some of these videos. It is also for the professional auto mechanic. If you guys um, come across the vehicle that you're not quite sure what's going on with it, you can look at these videos and find some helpful information. So we sure appreciate you guys watching these videos. Uh, please like and subscribe. Uh, this is episode one of Ask My Auto Mechanic. We're super excited about this and we have um, a great uh, episode here where we've got a Toyota Camry. Um, this is a common thing we see on these things from 2007 to 2009 where the instrument cluster stops working correctly. Uh, the speedometer just sits there and the tachometer kind of bounces around. Um, the coolant temperature gauge bounces around. Also, the air conditioning system doesn't seem to work correctly when this problem happens. I'm going to show you guys what it's going to take to get this thing fixed. It's a fairly simple repair. There's a couple options of way you can do it. It really comes down to replacing the ABS module and pump. You can find these used um, you know, on eBay and places like that. Uh, you can also buy these new right from Toyota. There's a few companies out there remanufacturing them. Uh, obviously a new one uh, is going to be the most expensive uh, option from Toyota. Hopefully you can find uh, a good used one and swap this part out. Eliminate the problem, get your car working correctly again. Watch this video and check out how we fix this particular problem. Uh, today I've got this Camry um, in here um, that I'm trying to do a repair of diagnosing why the instrument gauges keep wigging out and the air conditioning system isn't working correctly on it. Um, we've got some good ideas of what this can be. We're going to show you um, what the vehicle's doing and we're also going to show you guys um, how to diagnose it and fix this repair. Okay, so you can see that the uh, tachometer just kind of jumps around as you're driving and also the speedometer will just sit dead. The first thing that you want to do to diagnose this particular problem is locate the ABS module and unplug it. Then verify when driving if the tachometer goes back to normal and the speedometer starts working. If they start working with the ABS module unplugged, then the ABS module has an internal short that's feeding back through the system. So locate the ABS module, unplug it, go out and take it for a test drive. Okay, so we've got this uh, ABS module slash pump replaced. You can see it just has a few lines that you have to undo um, to replace it. Um, unbolt it here with the bracket, and obviously undo the plug, install the new unit. This is what the old unit looks like. You can see each line just threads in there. This is something that you do have to bleed the system after you replace this part. Um, what happens with this is the internal electronic com uh, components inside this module actually short out, feeding into the rest of the system, causing the problems. So once you get this replaced, you are going to have to bleed the entire system. Um, you've got to bleed all four wheels and bleed the ABS system to get all the air out of the system. All right guys, so we got this problem fixed. We replaced the ABS module. We bled everything out really carefully. Make sure that you look up the bleed procedure on this particular car and get this thing bled out. You wanna get all the air out of the system. If you're not sure how to do that, uh, you may wanna have somebody help you bleed the, the braking system correctly so that your brake pedal works correctly. We're super excited to fix the problem. We hope this video helped you out. Uh, please like the video. If you have any comments, go ahead and comment them uh, you know, on the video on the channel. Um, if you have any questions for me, you can find me on Facebook. Um, I ask uh, or answer 
uh, automotive related questions on there, go ahead to Ask My Auto Mechanic uh, on Facebook and, and submit your questions. Make sure you like the page. Uh, make sure you like this video, subscribe, and look forward to seeing a bunch more great videos for you guys. Thanks again for watching the video.